Welcome to the Wettest Diary, Artist and Poet. The featured painting in this video is titled, My Heaven's Ocean. This is a liquid acrylic, by the way. And I painted this in 2013. There's a story behind this painting. It's kind of like a testimony of part of my life. When I was 24 years old, I got the most beautiful news that I was going to have a baby. Lord, I was so excited. I could hardly compose myself. I love children so, so much. Prior to having this beautiful baby, I had lost two children. I could get pregnant, no problem, but I just couldn't carry them. So, when I became expecting again, I had mixed emotions. I was so excited and scared at the same time. I was able to carry my son full term. Though I had to stay in bed most of the time while I was pregnant. And uh, the day I went into labor. We were at my father-in-law's birthday party and I stepped up on the porch going into the house and my water broke. And I told my husband, I said, hey, we got to get to the hospital. And he was freaking out. <laughs> anyway, went back to the hospital safely. And while I was the lit in delivery, um, all of a sudden my blood pressure went extremely high, and my mother and my husband was in the delivery room with me, and uh, I started screaming, my head was killing me, and My uh, head hurt so bad that I told my mom, I said, I feel like I'm dying, I'm dying. And anyway, my mother started screaming, you know, she, something's wrong, something's wrong. And at this point, my son was already, his head was already out. And the next thing I knew, I woke up like five days later, and uh, but before this happened, before I did wake up, y'all, I died having my son, and I was gone for a little over seven minutes, and this painting is kind of what I first saw. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. And, uh, and then next I saw myself floating above my body. And uh, I could see everybody in the waiting room crying. And as my body kept floating upward, I saw this light again. It was so beautiful. And uh, I'm sorry, it makes me cry to think about it sometimes. But I always say love is greater. Because in this picture right here, this was God's love shining on me. As I was floating up out of myself, my soul was going. It was gone. And as I went into heaven, as 
I saw it to be heaven. It was so beautiful and the colors were so bright. And I've stated this many times, I dream in neon and it was brighter than that. And it was beautiful and I had people there already waiting with open arms for me. And I've told this story many times to lots and lots of people. Though they were still working on me to try to get me back, I didn't want to come back. And then as I got before God, and everybody says they see Jesus and they see God and all this stuff, and I saw what I felt was Jesus. And then I saw God. When I say saw, I could not put my eyes upon him because it was so bright. The light of God is so bright. And that light is pure love that's engulfing everything and everything within it, around it. And because of it. So I continue to say God's light is love. And love is greater. Because that's what was first. God is love. And is the light of love. And I cannot express it any better than that. So... On the fifth day, when I woke up, I had had a stroke having my son. And they said I'd never walk, I'd never talk, ever again. And I told them, you're wrong. I will walk and talk and do much more because my son needs me and God wants me to tell my story. That's why I believe in God, people. That's why I say, God, you know, love is greater. It just is. That love that I express so much is God. God completely. And we were born with it in our hearts and in our souls. I can't express it any better than that. It's that fire within us. The want to live. The want to be. The desire to give love. The desire to share love in any possible capacity. And I'm telling you, God is real and so is His love. The two laws that I think that only apply is the law of love and free will because with both of those anything is possible. God's will and your will are two different things. He gives us a choice to use our free will as we want to do. And in those choices come consequences and those consequences are what life is about. Either you choose right or you choose wrong. It's up to us. And I ask God, you know, about the sin and the way that I was approached by this or the explanation of it is if you have a liar on one side and a murderer on the other spectrum God sees them both the same. Everything is within that perimeter is the same sin. It doesn't matter. But also know this. When you die, He still gives you another chance to say, 
Would you forgive me? You ask God to forgive you of those sins, and He does, even on your last breath, while your soul is floating to heaven or hell. It's still your choice. So on that fifth day when the doctors came in and they said, you'll never walk and talk again. If you do, you'll never be the same. And when they say be the same, like in my mind. But God had another plan for me. And I've experienced much in my life. I've owned several businesses. I've I raised my son, I have a granddaughter, and I've had a real, real blessed life. And I won't say that in a money aspect. I'm talking rewarding and fulfilling because I promised God I would share that type of love, pure love. So love is greater, y'all. Blessings and love to you all. This was my testimony. And I'm saying it with all the love in my heart. God always loves you no matter what. No matter what. And your chances don't expire when you do. He's still there. With his hands and arms open. To you. I love you guys. Bye for now.